catastrophe. In any city, in any country, go to any abandoned amusement park you can enter. Find the largest roller coaster in the park, no matter its condition. Take a seat on the far left side of the first cart, then close your eyes and whisper, I wish to see the holder of catastrophe. You will feel the coaster start to move, yet you cannot open your eyes, or you will find yourself moving through an endless void which you will never escape. The coaster will then slowly start to head up for what seems to be ages as you listen to the rumbling of the tracks. You will then hear voices whisper at you and ask you to save them, yet you must not respond to them, or they will take you away to the same void to which they belong. The voices will stop speaking to you and the cart will come to a stop. With your eyes still closed, you must grasp the bar in the cart as tightly as you possibly can, or you will be left behind forever. After you do so, you will feel yourself plummeting straight down at impossible speeds. The air around you will start to grow cold, and continues as it feels as if you are freezing. As you sense the cart around you disappear, you must keep hold of the bar, as it is the only thing keeping you attached to reality. Abruptly you will stop. Drop the bar, and sit still with your eyes closed until you start to hear the sound of a carnival fanfare in the distance. And only then can you open your eyes, to which you will be greeted by a large pinstriped circus tent a few yards in front of you, surrounded by meadows and happy people, young and old. You must walk towards the tent, staring at the small entrance which is shrouded by darkness. As you continue walking, the scenery around you will start morphing. Slowly the meadow dies, the carnival music slows and bends in pitch until it starts to sound twisted and demonic. The people decay in the very spots they stand. They will scream in agony and ask you to help them, yet you cannot look directly at them or you will meet the same fate as these illusions. You must continue forward until you finally reach the dark entrance. Walk forward and allow yourself to be swallowed by the darkness. Yet do not stop or look back, as if you do either, you will never find an exit. Continue your walk into the void until you see a dim light in the distance, and start to hear the sobbing of a man. Follow these two signs, as you hear the crying of the man growing louder, until you can see the light is coming from a door in the darkness. When you walk through the door, you will be greeted by a cold cement cell. In the far left corner, you will see the crying man dressed as a circus clown, covering his face with a small diary. You must slowly approach him, as not to aggravate him, until he is right by your feet. Sit down next to him and ask, What do we have to lose? The clown will then read you an excerpt from the diary through his sobs. The writings in detail describe the demise of millions of innocents, and the forces that so cruelly and coldly carried out this act. As he reads, illusions will appear around you, and in the side of your vision you will see every death of every person in the story, many of which were slaughtered many of which were taken by disease. However, you must keep looking at the clown, as if you lose sight of him, you will be stuck in this illusion and you will become part of the story yourself. After he is done, he will stop crying. 
he will lower the book from in front of his face, revealing that he has suffered the same decay as the illusions which you had seen before. He will hand the book to you, which you must accept. He warns you that you cannot read the diary yourself, or else you will be driven mad. He will then whisper, When the stakes are high, best to play the clown, as the rest of his body starts to decay, as well as the room around you. You must close your eyes one more time, keeping hold of the book, and count to exactly twelve seconds before opening them. When you do, you will find yourself in the same seat of the roller coaster in which you began. The diary is object twelve of 538. These events must never be allowed to occur again.